Hello everybody, and welcome to Don't Starve. Um, I'm starting on the title screen again, because last time uh, it was literally right after my failure of the end of Season 1. So I'm decided to, I've decided to um, start on the title screen and give you a proper intro slash welcome to Season 2. Because I was really salty after the end of first season, even though I knew there was nothing I could have done. Doesn't matter, I was salty. And now, yeah, I did all the intro stuff for Willow and all that. I just didn't do a proper int um, season introduction. I just did it like I was doing another episode of season one. Sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> that was just me being dumb. But alright, let's continue where we left off last time as Willow. And I don't remember, I don't really remember too well what we were doing. Or what I was doing, at least. Oh, jeez, um, it almost crashed. Okay, let's check the map. Oh, we've just traveled in one direction, haven't we? Uh, uh, let's see, I think we should just keep... I think we're doing a round because there was a fire, and I don't want to keep going on that way. So I'm going to go this way. Sticks everywhere. I don't need more. Oh, man. Oh, that's right, I killed a lot of spiders last time. Yeah, sanity. Sanity's low. I think it's from all the fighting. Oh, and I saw that um, comment from Micah, again, because he's probably one of the only people that actually comments on these videos, that I was worried during when it was raining at the first season about my sanity when I was starving. Yeah, I, I was just trying to get my mind off of the fact that I was starving. <laughs> I was trying to... You know, just keep my mind on how I can stop myself from starving and also other problems that could kill me in the game. Which sanity can kill you if you're too low. If you're too low, you start seeing shadow things and stuff like that. I have so many tools. I had a good uh, name for the previous episode, but I uh, scrapped it because I just couldn't, I was just salty the whole time, and I wanted to sort of make fun of how salty I was about that loss. Ooh, beefalo. Are you red butt, or are you regular beefalo? Regular beefalo, thank god. Now, where can I store this? I have no, basically no storage space here. I'm going to get rid of the frog legs because I, oh, I bumped the mic, sorry guys. Um, because I got no campfire, permanent campfire, at least. I think I might make my, make my base on the borders between this grass field and... Oh, there's a wormholder. And the forest I think that's what I'm going to do. I just need to see what I need for fire pit. I need more stone and some more wood, so... Back to chopping. Uh, let's see, what can I talk about? Oh, I, I put it in the, um, what's it called, description of one of the episodes about why, telling you guys why there was such a huge gap between episodes one, one and two. That was just, there was some weird scheduling. At first I was at my dad's, and my dad's house, and then I was at my mom's house, and I went to my grandparents. It was really weird, and I, I didn't know when I was going to be able to get back. Um, here to my dad's. It was just really confusing. I didn't really know what was going on. Did I plant this somewhere? Come on. It says drop. I should do there. Excuse me, beefalo. Um, but yeah, I had some scheduling problems. The schedule should be back to normal now, even with school starting uh, for me soon. So I think that's enough wood. So yeah, I will post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, like usual. Uh, if Micah, if a video of mine doesn't, is not posted, oh, that's an evil flower. Is there something nearby? Oh! That's a, that gives you living logs, I'm gonna leave that there, 
because... I'm gonna leave that there because I don't need living logs yet and I don't have any storage in my in inventory here. But yeah, no, if a video of mine that is not, that is posted on, oh, sorry, let me rephrase that because I lost my train of thought and I'm trying to figure out what to say. Um, oh, is that the crank thing? I, I know all the names of the things, I just need to find out. Crank thing, yeah, it's the crank thing. I'll come back to that later. But, um, back to what I was saying. If there's a video that's not mine that's posted on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, that's because Micah posted something, and I have no problem with that. It just means I won't post that day, and it'll be one of Micah's videos. Because so, I'm not trying, I don't want the, our schedule to be all cluttered and everything like that. It'll just mess my schedule up a little bit. I mean, me not posting a video could mess me up, but it gives me more time to think about other stuff and do other stuff, you know, an extra long break. But that's probably not going to be the case, because I'm not probably just not going to do that. I'm probably just going to post anyways, because why the hell not? <laughs> Alright, I think, I can't, hold on guys, give me a second. You guys probably saw that, but it was in the way. It tells me I need to put in like a key or something for Don't Starve to play Don't Starve for a prolonged time. Yet it hasn't done anything to me, and I've played for hours already. On sometimes. Oh, geez, this wormholes are creepy as hell. Just if there was a wormhole like this in real life, comment uh, comment this down below in the comment section. If there was a wormhole like this in real life. And let's just say you were being chased by something evil or something, and it was your only way to escape. Would you jump down it, or would you die to whatever was chasing you? Oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> um, but no, yeah, seriously, if, there, if you saw... If there was something horrible chasing you, and the only way to escape was go down a disgusting, creepy-ass wormhole, would you... Do it, or would you let the thing behind you, or whatever's chasing you, kill you? Just comment down below and tell me. Sorry, I'm being silent. I don't know why. It's because all those bee flows are making so much noise. But yeah, no, seriously. Uh, I wonder if you guys want to comment anything, anything at all, that's fine. Why can't I eat the. Eat. There we go. Um, if you guys want to comment anything, that's fine. I don't care if you if you comment or randomly, that's fine. I don't care. It just means that you guys want to tell me something. You know? So, yeah. That's that. Anyways, um... I'm gonna need to get more stone for the fire pit. Is it... It is called, it is a fire pit, right? it's a fire pit, I, was, I thought I was going mad there. Um, see, the one thing is, every time I set up a base and don't start, I've always died like a day or two after that. I've never gotten a really well-sustained base going. I don't know why, I think it's just bad luck, or that I'm just horrible at playing Don't Starve, but one of the two, one of the two, and I think Micah would say that I'm horrible, because that's just not the type of person he would, he is, he's, he's that friend that is very teasy and likes to joke around like that. I am sort of like that, I like to tease like that, and be, um, make, you know, make jokes like that, because it, it's not hurting anyone. Sorry, if uh, you guys are bored with this, I was gonna take a break, but being how freaking short season one was, I'm gonna do season two. Hopefully, season two is long, and as soon as season two is over, I'll take a break, play some of the games with uh, some fr with uh, Mike and Sebastian, and maybe some guest stars, guest stars, guest, just any guest in general. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll do that and. 
well, I'll have a good time. Hopefully you guys will have a good time watching whatever video that is. And stuff like that. Alright, back to don't starve stuff. Basically, one of my my goal is to try and get to Maxwell's door. For those of you who know who played Don't Starve, you, you know, already know that. You can either find Maxwell's door itself, or you can make your own Maxwell's door with things like this crank thing. That's one of the things to make it. There's also the potato thing, the box thing, and there's another one which I don't remember. There's four or five things. I think I wouldn't remember correctly. Exactly. But I just, uh, I do know that there's like four or five things to make your own Maxwell store. And basically what that does is it sends you to another world. I've only ever done this once because I found a Maxwell store right away. It sends you to a whole completely different world. And you get like this meter thing which can help you find. Um, it gives you a meter which you can build on your own in magic. But I don't have, can't show you magic because I don't got a science machine yet. Um... It allows you to that allows you to find the things or Maxwell's door itself. Now again, you have to. There's eight worlds in all, and you got to go through all of them, and then you get to like this. I don't know exactly. You get to a strange hallway or world or something, where there's this guy stuck in a weird chair or something like that, and it's Maxwell, and that's how you unlock Maxwell. Is you free him, and you take his place, or whichever character you're using takes his place. You can tell you play as the that character later, I think, but I do believe all that does for you is unlock Maxwell, which is cool. I don't know what Maxwell can do in Don't Starve. I've never watched anyone in Don't Starve reuse Maxwell, so yeah, I don't know anything. I know a lot about Don't Starve, but there's some new things that I wouldn't know. Oh, and I might, um, I want a later season, because I'm just playing classic Don't Starve, I don't have Rain of Giants, or ca Castaway, or some, or one or the other, Castaway, or, uh, Shipwrecked, is it Shipwrecked, I think it's Shipwrecked, uh, so yeah, I might have one of the seasons be just me playing it with Shipwrecked, uh, in, in with it being shipwrecked it's a regular don't start because I'm just playing regular don't start because I don't have the other ones. Uh, I don't know I'm getting them. Because it's just the temper's name. Yeah. Carrots. Yeah. Being quiet, sorry guys, I'm thinking. I need more stone to make the fire pit. I need 12 stone. But there's no rocks at all nearby. Check the map real quick. This is all unexplored, but I'm pretty sure there might be rocks there. I think I'm gonna go down there and check out, check it out for rocks. I get a good amount of time until darkness hits. Cause it's only a little bit dark at the moment. There's not any games that have like this day-night cycle, sort of clock at the top. I don't know, I have not played that many games with, uh, one of those at the top. And there's that sort of cute TV with you know, game, which I have played because, why not? Because it's there, and I just happened to have my brother who had it, who got the game, so I, w I played it, and meh. It's not really my style. I mean... No, it's not really my style. I didn't, can't say I didn't not enjoy it, but I didn't really like it that much. It was just boring. Magic. And I, to be honest, I've never actually picked up, um, picked a Mandrake myself in this game. I've, uh, always, what's it called? I'm looking for. I'm being stupid here, just trying to be smart. But, um, oh, geez, lag. Oh, dang, that was bad. Um, no, but uh, I've only ever seen my brother, Micah, who's played this game, pick a mandrake, and it followed him for a long time or something like that. He'd, he'd killed it with fire, but um, 
Oh, I will, I'm not gonna be planning on killing a mandrake anytime soon. But, yeah. yeah. So, I don't think I've ever built the machine that the living logs allow you to make. This was not Touchstone. Look why I have a touchstone, but that was stupid. It wouldn't let me build it. God. Just so you guys know, I'm a really ragey person when something bad happens. Hey, that was horrible. Oh, look, frog. Where am I? Oh, I'm not that far away. I just gotta. I just gotta go down. That was horrible. Ah, oh, God. I feel so stupid. Oh, it's glitched. Or was, at least. The dirt pile. Yeah, I was so mesmerized by the dirt pile that I died. Luckily, uh, it was... I uh, revived. Oh, God. But Jesus. That was crazy. No, not that. Um, jeez. Um, I was not expecting that. I thought I would get out of that safely. Uh... But I didn't. I don't know why it wouldn't let me build the campfire. But um, I was mesmerized by the uh, the suspicious looking dirt pile because it leads. It's a track. You uncover the dirt and it's a track that leads you to the elephant, which is great because the elephant gives you its elephant hide or whatever, which you can build a winter coat with, and that will help you during winter. But that wasn't there before, which means he's really close to over there, and I can kill him at some point. Is killing him now is definitely out of my reach. Luckily, I built my. I'm gonna make my house sort of on, not on a road, but near a road, like this, like this little gravelly, grainy path. And where's my stuff? Stuff should be right here. Hooray! All of it too. Uh, let's pick up a pick first, or just pick up an axe. Jeez, I can't believe I died. I feel so stupid now. Sticks, but I don't need the monster meat. Oh, rocks. I got enough rocks to make the fire pit now. What do I not need? See, Shadow of Nightmare Fuel is good, but I don't need it yet. So I can drop it. Now, where was I gonna make my house? I was gonna make my house somewhere over here. I'll make it near the wormhole. Because why not? Right. Whoa! Did... Okay then. Apparently Willow wanted to light a fire before she made the fire pit. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I guess. God. I uh, should probably make uh, cook up some berries. Just so you guys know, the first few episodes might just be this boring setup, try to survive and stuff. So, you guys stop watching or something, that's fine. But Oh! Oh, Willow's a pyromaniac, so if she's near fire, she's happy. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, can I make that science machine? Yeah. Uh, um. But I don't have to make a science machine. How did I build it? Okay, well, that I'm baffled right now. Let's make a shovel. Okay, let's organize my cluttered death inventory here. Yes. the way north. Oh, that's nice. Backpack, that's what I want. There's plenty of grass here, so I'll make a backpack, because that is extra good for space. Hello, people. 
always thought it's weird how. And, oh, and it's the greatest one. You shave them naked uh, with the shear or the razor, whatever it's called. Uh, basically, they still have like eyebrows. And it's funny because they like, when you're close to them, they raise an eyebrow, and it's, it's so funny. I just think it's hilarious. That's just my opinion. Backpack, yes, okay, I'm going to store tools in here, because that's just how I roll. Okay, so I think I'll end the episode in, in the morning of this game, and this time I'm going to remember to eat stuff. I'm going to chop a tree down to get some wood. I've got room for seeds, it's great. It should be big enough. Maybe big enough? Who knows? I'll put a pine cone, pine cone, pine cone, pine cone in there for good luck. How's that? I'm not hunger. I think I'll cook these berries since they're starting to spoil a little bit. Hunger's at full, health very, very low. But better than when I revived. Wow, well, okay then. Jeez. I hope you guys are having as much uh, fun and are being as. Mm, I'm moving around, guys. Sorry if the mic's bumping or anything. Uh, hope you guys are having as much fun and having the same, same or a good experience like I am playing this game, because, I, I mean, it's been a while since I've played this game before I started Season 1, and now that I've been playing it, I'm just, I'm having a good time, it's fun, I like talking to you guys, well, talking to myself, I guess, because, I mean, well, if, if I'm talking in this room, I'm talking to myself, if I'm talking about on the internet, I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to all you great people who are watching this. And I think that's awesome. I've always, ever since I uh, found out about YouTube, I thought it was cool about what they did. And then I, my friends were all like, hey, let's make a YouTube channel. And then we made the YouTube channel, and it was fun. And this is basically the product. Channel Gaming Videos. GGV. Yeah, hopefully we'll be... I'm moving the mic, sorry guys. Hopefully we'll be... Our channel will grow to the point where... You know, uh, to the point where I can leave, well, not technically leave, I'll make my own channel and post videos on my own channel, but I will not just start on this channel. I think it's awesome, being with, I'm going to have so much fun being with friends on this channel, stuff like that, but hopefully one day you guys can see me on a different channel doing my own single player stuff and then I'll do all the multiplayer stuff with my friends. Alright, well, that is basically the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Alright, I will see you guys next time. I, like I just said, bye.